It's Peter McPartland and Barry Cass here on Toffee TV. We're looking forward to Lille away, match day three in the Europa League. And so far, so good, really, to be honest. It's been a great start, really. I mean, you know, the, the Wolves game, Wolfsburg game at home was fantastic. And uh, a tricky trip to Russia. Uh, and then, you know, with, a, with a, a hard four points. So to be top of the group after the first two games, pretty much, you know, what we would have hoped for at the start of it, really, you know, given it is such a tough group. And some of our best football, I think, we've seen in the Wolfsburg game. It was a, it was a brilliant game of football and it showed when we had our best 11 out or, the, or as close as we can get at how, how well we can play. Definitely, and, you know, Wolfsburg were excellent as well. So to beat a team like that, you know, convincingly in the end um, was fantastic. And it's just a pity that we haven't been able to get our best 11 out there. Mm. You know, but it gives you the hope, doesn't it, that when everyone's back and fit, you know, we're going to have some side. Yeah, and Krasnodar, obviously, you, you can't go to Russia, can you, without saying tricky in front of it or difficult. It's just one of them <laughs> places. And to be honest, we all probably hoped for a, for a point. We all spoke before and said a point would be a good result with it being tricky. tricky. <laughs> Not knowing too much about them, but I think, you know, for large parts of the game, we were under pressure. But in the end, we got the point thanks to Samueletto's goal. And I think we were all happy with that. Yeah, they were brilliant, weren't they? The first 20, 25 minutes, they were fantastic. They swarmed all over us. Uh, and it was just that, that kind of theme carried on. I thought Everton, the last 20 minutes, come on strong now and fully deserving of the point. And they had a chance with Lukaku as well near the end, so could have won it. But I don't think we can let the game go without mentioning the 475 fans who, uh, who made the tricky trip to Russia and supported the team fantastically well. So it's been an, uh, an excellent start, I would say, so far. So... Fingers crossed that carries on. Yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? Absolutely amazing, those fans. Especially when there's been a little bit of a little bit of a couple of suggestions in the media that there wasn't many fans going and I think Everton fans proved them wrong once again. That's just Everton fans for you, isn't it? Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. And uh, Evertonians will always find themselves there and find that way there and, and a fantastic effort and a great effort by the players at the end going over and giving the shirts so the the fans thought that was a fantastic gesture and all in it together. Long may continue. Realistically, we've got you know four points. What do you think points wise we need to get out this group? Well I think I think because we've started quite solidly, if we could win both the home games, I think we'd be out of it. I think ten points gets you through. It obviously takes the pressure off. If we can nick a point in our next one and then beat Leela home, that'll give us eight. Be a fantastic return and then we'd only need to beat Krasnodar at home and, and we'd be out of the group. So I think I'm looking for another six points from the, the remaining twelve. So I think that gets us out of it. Saying that, would you take a point then at Lille and concentrate on the home games for those wins? Definitely. I think any points away in the group is a good one. And as long as you win your home games, it sets you up nicely. This has been Ped and Baz on Toffee TV. Looking forward to the away trip to Lille.